country music superstar, T.B. Shepard. Country rockers, the Roberts Meister Band. The talented Jim Owen. You can be a star winner, Larry White. And now, live from Opryland, USA, welcome the host of Nashville Now, Ralph Emery. Okay. Well, Gary, thank you very much, and good evening, my friends. And off we go for the second time this week. I'm working with this guy. Uh, you know, and I haven't mentioned the fact that uh, last weekend uh, I was in Paducah, Kentucky, uh, hosting their telethon, and one of the stars of the telethon was the, our opening act tonight. So we worked far into the night on Saturday evening. Would you please welcome T.G. Shepard? <laughs> Sparkle in the light Country girls that love the lovers Some I never really knew Though I always wanted to Some I only met once in the room Some said they liked the smile Others of them stayed a while While others left me on the run This is the only way Saloons and living rooms Some nights it lasted until dawn Here's to the memories Everyone's a part of me Oh, I love the memoir Big little or short of time Wish I could have kept them all home I love the memoir yeah. Like to thank them for the charm Yes, we do. How much money was raised at that telephone? Remember? T.G., when we went off the air, they had a round of 435000 I think, something like that. But well, it was, a, it was a real special day for me, and I want to thank all the, the, the Lions Club people up in uh, Paducah uh, and at the executive end because it was a real special day for me because I got a chance to come in early and spend the afternoon with the kids in the room in there. And until you see that, you really don't know what you're involved in. And once I got a chance to see those kids, and I, I was prepared to stay all night. The, uh, they have the Easter Seal Center, which is for the uh, mentally and physically impaired. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what the money goes to. Yeah. And, uh, you did a great job with great, that, by the way. There's some great kids. I want you, now, I want you, 
You have not told this story on this show, okay? You've told it to me on my radio show, and I alluded to it at Paducah the other night. But it's a fascinating story. And I uh, think that after you were on this program the last time, you sat down with me on my radio show and told me this fascinating story about Elvis Presley. And you had told me a lot of stories about Elvis, but never this one. And uh, this is the one on the sidewalk at the skating rink. That's the one I want you to tell. Well, it's how you, how you, I think I, it started with, <laughs> T.G., how did you first meet Elvis? Well, first of all, he's not alive, I don't think. Okay. If, if he is, if you're out there, the number at the bottom of the screen, Elvis, you can call right now. I'd like to talk with you if you're, if you're out. No, I, uh... I was skating in 1961 at a roller rink in Memphis, and uh, I was walking out, and uh, these pink Cadillacs pull up, and Elvis gets out of the car and walks over to me, and uh, he says, I need your help. And I said, you talking to me? And I, he said, yeah. He said, we're a man short on our team, and we're playing a game called Kill on skates. And I said, well, well sure, fine. And I was in awe. I mean, I was all excited because I... I'd met the superstar, Elvis Presley. And uh, I went inside, and they suited me up with the gear and the helmet. Now, wait a minute. What, what was the game kill? It was football on skates. They actually, actually football on played, skates. Played uh, the kind of football you would play on a football field, except Absolutely. on roller skates? But, you know, Elvis always had to do it a special way. And let me tell you, it was a pretty messy night. You can get messed up pretty bad playing football 11, on skates. Eleven on a side? Yep. Entire team took over the entire floor for about, I guess, from about midnight to 6 a.m. So what did he do? Rent the, the rink for the the nighttime period? Yeah, much like the much like when he would rent the Memphian Theater to show movies. Some nights he would go out and rent the roller rink and would go roller skating all night long. Or would go to the fairgrounds and would ride the rides. But this all night, night you're long. playing kill. Playing kill on football skates and. From that point on, we were close friends for 16 years. Okay, now your mother doesn't know where you are. No, and I, I go back home, and I, I say, well, uh, I had gone to Memphis at that time, and I was staying at her house, and she said, uh, I got in about 7 o'clock the next morning, and she said, uh, where have you been all night? I said, well, I, I've been out with Elvis Presley. She says, come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> But, I, no, she finally believed me, yeah. All right, did, now, this, was this a chance meeting? Did Elvis remember you? Oh, yeah. I didn't think he would because, you know, someone who meets as many people as he would meet in a day, in a month, in a year, I kept thinking, well, did the next time I see him, he'll never know who I am. And he walked up to me and called me by name. And from that point on, uh, I came to the Did he ever, did he, did, when you, when you parted, what did he say? He said, I'll be, we went, we went from the skating rink back to the house. At Graceland. He says, we're going to go back and have some breakfast, this and the other. And then afterwards, I told him I had to leave, and he said, well, I will be seeing you again. And two or three days later, I get a phone call from him, and he invited me back out the house, and that's what happened. So, did you get hurt? Play and kill? No, I was checking. I don't... I, uh, me, I spent most of the time on the bench. Let me guess. <laughs> he played quarterback. Oh, sure. Yeah, you know he had to be the quarterback. He wasn't any good, but we made him think he was. <laughs>